Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel and today I have a one more interesting problem statement and before going into that please check out my channel where I uploaded certain videos on certain problems and try to solve in a simplest manner and if you like this videos or any other videos please like the video and subscribe my channel. So let's jump back to the problem statement. So you might be aware of the parameters that actually how the parameter works in Power BI. So in simplest, sim, in a simple terms right now, what I can say is like, I have a three different measures, sum of profit, sales, and unit sold. And I want to switch between these three measures. And how I can do that easily is using the Power BI. Uh, in Power BI is using parameters. Now, these parameters are good actually, like uh, you can, it can, it, it gives you a dynamic uh, capability to your slicers and like how you can visual things. But sometimes what happens like, these are quite looks very dull and you want to enhance something in a different way. So what I mean by is like this, if you see here, this is the same uh, parameter slicer that I have created and it looks bit more, uh, a bit more in a pre presentable and as, as well as it gives a very good visualization to your, uh, uh, to your dashboard. So I selected right now, it's the sum of unit sold. Then it has been popped up highlighted and the accent bar is also there. If I select this one, so this workaround helps a lot just to enhance your visual. If you see like this, this is also a parameter, but I have just simply taken a single slicer that had been filtered. But if you compare this one and the, this version, there is a drastic huge differences there. So how you can create this in Power BI and uh, in the easiest way. So let's see. Uh, so for that, actually what I have done here right now is I have already created a parameter, which is called, I did not, did not rename that such anything. I have created a slicer. So instead of this slicer, you should select the new slicer option here, which has been introduced recently by the uh, Power BI. And if you see now it has been changed. And, and if you now, if you see here, there are a lot of options to format this particular slicer and it helps a lot. So uh, let me just turn down this thing. So, so here is the thing right now. Now what we want actually, first we want to align the center align. So let me do first single select. This is what we want. Uh, once the single selection is done, you can change it the shape to we have different. If you say you can select the rounded also, let's take go with the rounded for this particular approach. Then you have some uh, metric layout also. You can change its layout in a different way. Now it has sell, sell out volume. So sell out volume is nothing but the, the these uh, verbos that you are seeing here right now, it's being selected. So let me select first default. So when you are just selecting one, let's say sum of profits as a default, how it should look like. So uh, it should look like this only 10 black color, but it should be center aligned. So I have just done a center alignment. Now, what else we want? Let's say here we can insert an image and buttons also. So for uh, let me do fill, uh, wait, let me do for default selection. I do not want border. I do not want to fill this up. Okay. Uh, border is there still. I do not want this. Uh, fill, yes. Now what I can do here, transparency, let's make it hundred percent and this. Now, if I go to selected values, okay, now I go to selected values. I do not want border. I just want to show up my accent bar here and it should be at my bottom. Okay. Let me increase its width. This is how it looks like. And if I select, if you see here, this thing, now what I did, it's a white color font actually. So you have to change the font also for this font color. So if I go here, state selected white color font is there. Let's select some different color here, green. Let me take the green color here. Uh, sometimes it gets stuck here. So let me do this. Uh, let me increase the font when it's been selected. It's like, let's say 20 is my font. 20 is my font. Same way we can do one more thing. Accent band bar color also. We can do one thing. Color changes to green. So whenever it is being selected, it will be like this color. So hope you are able to follow this till this point. 
now what else we want i guess the green color does not looks good uh, i want something else let's say like this one no let me do the blue actually blue looks more better as of now so let me do the blue it looks better so you have so whenever i am selecting the sum of profit it, like this it will work now one more interesting thing that we can do here is can we have the values of this? What is the sum of sales? What is the sum of profit here? That also can be done. So what I will need to do here is like, we have to go again, set uh, call out volume uh, values. Let's select the default value we need to select it here. And we have the option of labels. Yes. So in labels, if you see, you can add a field, but there is an interesting thing. And let me have a card here. And I will just include this parameter. So here, if you see parameters, this thing, when I select this thing, 83 and this, like this. But interestingly, like if I just include, let me do one thing. If I, in label section, if I add this parameter, it will throw me an error. Look, sum of price on here we do not have the value. So how we can have the values actually. So for this, we need to create a one more measure. So let's see how we can create this value. Let me do one thing here. Let me uh, first remove this thing. Okay. So how we can create this. So I have already created this label slicer and how it works. Let me explain. Let me zoom in to this. So First, actually you need the parameter value, which is the parameter value. Let's say if I'm selecting some of units sold, so that will fetch. Here you cannot use the selected values. If I select the selected values, it will throw me an error. So instead of using this, we have to use, because it's a value thing, okay? And when it comes to textual things, you're gonna use the selected values, yeah. specifically in this case. Then we need to display the value of sum of sorts. Then we need to format it in this way. Let me in single line, let me come. Okay. So what it does is like, it takes the million. Okay. This is how you represent the millions. How many decimal places you want to show. And this is the million value. Similarly, whenever the sum of profits will be selected, it will be formatted again in this way. And whenever this way and this. So we will use this particular measure in our label option. So if I just... Okay, select this, go to this, sell out volume. I have make sure you have selected a default because every time we want to show it, not only on the selected, selected time. I have to this, add here, search for this, this. If you see the values are there, now what we can do, we can do a formatting here. We can also make a similar bit smaller font. Okay. Now one more thing, let me do a black color. But when it has been selected, we need to again change the color for this particular thing. So what I can do, I will go again top. I will select apply setting, call, uh, call out volume, selected. Then I have to scroll down a bit. It you cannot change this thing when it has been we change the apply setting. Then this it is done. Okay. Now you can do the bold also if you want. So whenever I select change them. Yeah. Uh, how effectively like there is a very drastic like if you see this particular thing let me remove this if you see this is the my slicer normal slicer which it looks like and this is my just i have formatted it so you, you can try a different ways of doing these things also like uh, you can format in a bit uh, differently colors since you have an image options also here you can insert an image that okay this is a pro year on year growth you want to show it let's say so you can say some of profit has been growth by five percent so that and you can just change an Im image symbol also so these actually helps a lot when it comes to like a visualization thing and what i can do let's see oh my bad so let me do this I can insert my date here. Let me remove quarter days and then I can include my parameter selection here. And let me do parameter here. So if you see here, 
I will remove its title. Uh, let me do remove x axis we need here. We can remove the y axis values titles here. Then we can have our data labels here. So 0 0.08 million has been proved down to like this and y axis title has been off. Let me enlarge it. Place over is this. Uh, let me align one more thing visual border. Okay. If a visual border, then here also we can have a visual border this is how it will look like you can just superimpose these things here uh do we have an option of border uh, no okay so if you see this is how it will look like uh let me do one more thing here and remove the borders here actually i do not like this thing in fact Visual border. So this is how you can do it, right? Whenever you select this, or you can do it in chart also, you do not require border. You can do some other workaround based on that. So if let me just yeah. So if you see 1.3 million has uh 1.13 unit souls has been break down to like this, and it helps a lot, like it looks more clear, visual rather than just having something a typical kind of a graph chart and so hope you are able to follow till this point please mm -hmm. like this video subscribe my channel thank you so much follow for more power updates